What's going on guys, Robbie here, and today we are taking a look at Megablocks Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Technodrome. Uh, I believe now this is a Toys R Us exclusive, at least in the States, I can't speak for anywhere else. Um, but I do believe in the States it is a Toys R Us exclusive. It is uh, ginormous, <laughs> it has... 2,976 pieces and retails for around $250. The set comes with, uh, looks like four, five, six, seven, eight micro action figures. Uh, we've got one turtle, which is a little strange. Um, we've got a Krang bot, we've got Foot Soldier, Master Splinter, and a bunch of little mousers. So, uh, that's pretty cool. Honestly, for the price point and the size of something like this, I think I would have preferred maybe all four turtles or, you know, two or three at least foot soldiers. And uh, definitely Shredder probably in this set as well. Or some, some uh, rock fighters, something like that. Just a little bit more to bump up that micro action figure count. Uh, just on a set this size. But... Um, Overall, so far, I'm pleased with the, uh, the, you know, the fact that we do get Master Splinter. That's really cool. Um, and, of course, all the Mousers uh, are also really nice additions. So, moving right along, we do get Leonardo in this set. He's got some fancy gold swords, it looks like. Um, we're just going to turn this guy around here. And uh, it's a little big. <laughs> you can see nice big eye on the side here. Um this set, the, the box is very, very heavy as well. Uh, so on the back you can see we've got some of the play features of this set. It opens up to reveal uh, all these like experimentation rooms and things like that. The uh, the portal, uh, the dimensional like view screen up here. Um, looks like, like a mutagen chamber up in the top and just kind of some platforms. They've got a jail cell or, you know, a cell of some kind in the back. Uh, looks like a lifting, uh, <clears throat> a lifting gate where the uh, the mousers can actually escape from. So you got a lot of stuff going on here, and it's uh, it's actually really, uh, really cool. So I'm I'm interested to see exactly what else they've they've packed into this set that we may not you know uh, be able to see like at first glance. Um, but like I said, it is a very very large set. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of pieces going into this. And uh, <laughs> I'm really excited, to be honest. Uh, I'm very excited to see. It's got the big eye at the top, and, and that's really, really cool. So very, very neat. Uh, if anything, maybe a nice, a small representation of the like the drill car would have been nice to, to add into this set. But I totally understand there's a lot going on as it is. Um, and that may have just added too much to the, the, the piece count or the price, you know, like the price point and maybe they just didn't feel the need to go in that direction but be that as it may I've got a lot of stuff to talk about in this set so I'm gonna go ahead and get started building and uh, at some point <laughs> I'll be back to share the rest of this finished set with you so give me just a moment I'll see you guys in a bit Okay, guys, so here is the Mega Bloks Technodrome all set, put together, ready to go, and it is very big. Um, I'm having a hard time kind of getting everything in frame, so I do apologize. I had to employ the use of uh, shaky cam, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to kind of do this together. So, as you can see, the Technodrome here, uh, you can see the micro figures hanging around it. So if you own any of the Ninja Turtles uh, figures, these guys, you can kind of see um, how they scale with the Technodrome. It is very, very large. Um, and actually, I believe I have a ruler here. So let's check this out really quickly. Um, so we're talking height-wise, it's right around uh, 16 inches high. Well, maybe even a little taller. Yeah, about 16 or so uh, inches. So, you know, roundabouts like 40, between 40 and 42 centimeters tall. Um, and uh, easily just as long front to back. And uh, just, 
pretty much just as wide. So you're talking about like just a very uh, a very large <laughs> ball, uh, basically. So as you can see, it's really uh, really cool looking. But let's take a look at the micro figures first. Uh, because I think they deserve their own little uh, special attention paid. So I'm going to try and like sit so I can sort of keep everything in the camera and get it all together. So first up, you do get one Ninja Turtle. That is Leo here. And uh, I mean, he's nice looking. He's got some gold painted swords to uh, express how fancy this set is. He's got golden painted shell. So, I mean, this is more of like a, uh, you know, kind of a keepsake sort of turtle. This isn't really one I would uh, have on display with the rest of my Ninja Turtle stuff, just because he doesn't quite fit in with the rest of them, uh, being, you know, all gold and stuff. But it is a very nice, you know, very nice sculpt. It's got kind of the angry eyes going on there and the smiling face. But overall, it's, it's a very nice figure, of course. For those of you unfamiliar, these are the micro figures. They are super posable. He's got a ball jointed head. Uh, he's got universal shoulders and elbows. Uh, he's got a wrist swivel, no waist swivel, but he's got universal pinned uh, legs at the hip and universal knees and a swivel at the foot. Uh, so very, very posable, uh, especially for something this size. I mean, you can see how, how tiny it is. Uh, but really, really nicely done, these figures. Uh, so just very, very, very cool. Uh, so you do get one Ninja Turtle. And I think that's my biggest gripe with this set overall. Um, it comes with several micro figures, but I don't know if the selection is the selection that I would have personally chosen. Uh, I mean, it's cool that it comes with a figure, uh, but at the price point, you know, we're talking around $250 or more. Uh, I would have liked to see maybe more, maybe two turtles, maybe three turtles, or maybe all four for something this size. Um, and then maybe like a shredder, like a blue shredder to more match his uh, his original toy colors uh, would have been pretty cool. Uh, because shredder is currently only available in the uh, the party wagon set. Or, you know, just some, uh, some rock soldiers from Dimension X. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, and I think easy enough to make as well. Uh, but that's, you know, that's just me. That is my biggest gripe with this set. We'll talk some other, you know, we'll talk pros and cons as we go along. But anyway, here's Leo. Uh, <clears throat> you also get a foot soldier. And again, just one foot soldier, uh, which is a little strange to me. Uh, just one foot soldier. It's the same as the foot soldiers in the um, uh, the the Bebop and Rocksteady packs. So it's the same, same guy there. You can see the little footprint on his uh, forehead there and he's got that and the cool thing is they even went out of the way to make sure that the you know the human characters are taller than the turtles which i really do like the turtles are kind of more bulky uh and thicker but the humans are taller uh we do get krang actually in this set a very cute little krang uh, I don't know if we've seen this Krang before. This may be the same Krang that comes in the, the Out of the Shadow sets, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. It's definitely not the same Krang uh, as in the Krang's Rampage set. This guy is a lot smaller. That Krang is a lot larger. Uh, this guy is more... I, I don't know if he's more in scale with the Turtles, because he, he's not quite. Krang was kind of bigger in the cartoon, if I recall. Um, but, I mean, he's, he's really kind of cute, actually. He's got his tongue sticking out. He's very rubbery, uh, and you can you can pop him in and out of this little his little walker seat that the uh, the original toy came with. It's got little legs on here, and you actually get another uh, base for the rocker seat or the walker seat, I should say. Uh, and it's like a clear purple sort of sparkly doodad, and it's it's inside the Technodrome. I'll I'll show you guys that uh, when we get to it, but. All right, next up, we get some Mousers, and you get four of these guys. Uh, I'm not going to hold all four, but <laughs> you take my word for it. So you do get some Mousers. They have some paint apps, uh, but other than that, they're they're pretty white. Um, you know, their mouths open and close, and their legs move. It's the same legs as uh, Krang's walker machine. That would have been a really cool figure to have in this set. Baxter Stockman would have been really, really cool, I think, especially with the addition of the Mousers. 
Um, but yeah, the masters are cool, and you do get four of them, which is a nice, nice little uh, uh, head count to add to your overall set. And I'm dropping them all over the place. And if you uh, pick up your uh, your Ninja Turtle blind bags and you get a bunch of the Mouser sets, it's even even better because you can just have a whole army of these guys. Uh, and I may actually end up doing that <clears throat> because probably the uh, not, not probably definitely my favorite uh, micro figure out of this set, um, and just a fantastic micro figure in general is Master Splinter. We finally do get Master Splinter. He's an exclusive to this set, as far as I know, at least for now. Um, and he has all the same articulation as the humans, but he's got the, um, the digitigrade legs, uh, which move at the knee here. He's got a tail, but the tail's hard plastic. Um, the arms are the same. He's got his head on a ball joint. And I'm going to try and get this guy close up. You can see his eyes a little bit derpy, but not, uh, <laughs> not that unusual for the for cartoon splinter. Um, but, but his, his cloak, his robe is super, super nice. Really nicely done. The only thing to watch out for, and he does have his cane as well, which is also really cool. You can hold it by the top or by the uh, the kind of midsection here, so you can swing it around and hit foot soldiers. Uh, the only thing to be careful of is that this guy does come unassembled, uh, so you have to put the cloak on, which can be kind of a pain. You're going to want to, like, the temptation is because he does have his arms attached, so it's basically the torso. And then you get the, the lower half of the body, all the, you know, the crotch area and the legs that you have to assemble yourself. And that's a little bit scary in itself because you're te you're just very worried about breaking this tail when you're trying to, you know, mash everything up together. Uh, so I would suggest when you're at putting this guy together, put his legs on first, then actually put the, the robe on. And to get his belt on... Just lift his arms up and slide it down over the top of his body before you put the head on. Um, because otherwise you're going to have a really hard time getting this over the... Because it's got the bottom of the cloak and you're going to try and get all that like together. And you're just going to end up mashing the cloak up really badly. So I was just going down over the top and uh, you should be alright there. But uh, there is Splinter. And they all come in these little... Uh, you get six of these little uh, manhole covers, and I'm not exactly sure why they chose six, uh, because you get three full-size figures, and then you get five, like, smaller figures. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with the six <laughs> display stands, but whatever, it's fine. Um, there, it's nice to have extras, and the, the mousers and stuff don't really need a stand that much, so. All right, guys, that's it for the micro figures. Now on to the Technodrome. Okay, so let me do a quick little spin around here of the Technodrome so you can see all of it, <laughs> if I can actually accomplish this task. Uh, so we're just going to turn this right around. You can kind of see sort of in the front here, we've got the uh, the foot symbol, and we've got a couple of the uh, little arm blasters. Now, the actual Technodrome in the cartoon had, I believe, two small ones on the top and then two on the sides as well. Uh, so I guess it's short a couple of arms, but it's really not that big a deal. And you could easily get, you know, extra pieces and kind of create your own if you wanted to. There are extra bars, that, so if you made more of these, you could just kind of tack them on anywhere you wanted to. Um, and one quick nitpick about this whole uh, set here is these uh, engines or drills or whatever right at the front. And that is that these little uh, midsection pieces just slide right out. So these are actually, uh, these are held on by studs as well they should be. Um, but these bits are just on a rod that just slides right in and it's not... It's not tight enough to actually hold this in place, so these will just kind of slide out on their own whim. Uh, now there is a pin in here, so I would suggest maybe taking, you know, if you have uh, Call of Duty sets or any of the other Halo sets or whatever, if you have the, the little tiny pin piece uh, that usually goes in the micro figure's back to like hold it to a chair or something, if you have extra ones of those, you could stick one end in here and then stick it in there and it should probably hold that. I'm going to try it myself uh, later, but 
for now, I just wanted to kind of show you how this, you know, how this comes uh, as is. But I would suggest that because otherwise it does just fall out. Um, so yeah, you do have the front end here, and uh, I'm going to go into more detail about the, about that in a minute. But we're just kind of turning this guy around, and uh, you can see the sides here. And then around to the back. And this is where it actually opens up. So we're going to swing this guy back around to the front. And one thing to note is that uh, this whole thing is resting on small little uh, half circle clear pieces. It's not actually resting on the treads. Now the treads are free, free spinning, um, but it's not actually resting on those. Uh, so I guess there's less chance that you're going to damage the treads, which is good because I know Mega Bloks treads, at least for me, have been very problematic um, historically. Uh, they do tend to dry out and break and crack, and, and I have a lot of problems with those. But uh, hopefully, you know, you'll be able to uh, to not have to worry too much about that because it won't actually be touching the ground. Uh, you can, of course, take the clear pieces off and I guess roll it around on the treads if you'd prefer. Uh, but I think this is it was a pretty good solution. The only problem is like it's I've got a little foam board here, uh, and the weight of this thing is actually making those little half circles press into that foam board. But uh, so first of all, I want to show you guys uh, on the side of the Technodrome here. We've got these little flaps here that can open up, and I've I've stored the uh, extra. Uh, manhole covers in here but you can stick weapons or the mousers or whatever you know turtles just hide whatever you want in there there's one on either side uh so that's a pretty cool little a little feature a little hidey hole there then if you come around to the front you've got uh this whole bit which actually does open up and uh it goes inside and goes all the way up into the center of the Technodrome, so that's really cool. And if you need some more space, you can actually just pop this whole section out. It's just held on by two little pegs here. You can kind of get your whole hand uh, sort of in there to kind of get your little guys in and out. So that's really cool, and I can show you a cl up close look of the uh, printed foot tile. And that's, uh, that's pretty much that. And I think mostly that's everything on the outside of the Technodrome. Of course, uh, you'll notice the eye can be turned any way you want. So that's cool. You got all these nice little details sticking out the side of the guy here. So let's go ahead and turn this guy around. Okay, guys. So inside the Technodrome, just open these up. And we've got two nice heavy ball joints on each side holding up these uh, side panels. And I'm going to try and go over this as best I can. We're going to swing our camera in a little bit here. And uh, let's check out the, uh, the center of the, uh, the Technodrome first. So first up, we've got this uh, little like slime uh, ooze canister in the center or like I don't I'm not, not even sure what it's supposed to be like the core of the Technodrome maybe like this whole thing runs on mutagen ooze um, but uh, you know you got that there you got this little control panel in the center uh, with your uh, view screen to dimension X where you've got a bunch of rock soldiers all lined up there it's a really cool piece actually this whole uh, console view window and uh, I actually got two in this set, and I think you're only supposed to get one, but there was an extra one, uh, you know, packaged in there. So you guys may end up getting lucky and getting two. And these are printed controls, but they're very, very basic. You got a little seat here for Krang or Shredder, whatever you, you know, whatever you prefer. So that's pretty cool. Um, just kind of a bunch of empty space in the back. And then down here on this level... We've actually got some uh, some holding cells. So, ooh, I'm breaking stuff already. Breaking stuff already. We'll get to those shortly. But uh, in here, we've got the holding cells. 
you can pop the uh, doors open and there's plenty of room in there which is which is good because it's actually it's a little bit tight even though there's a lot of room there's like there's no way to access this from the outside uh, which I think would have been nice you can go down down lower and through the center that's the uh, the front end of the Technodrome there and you do have all this free space where you can kind of put whatever you want and just set it up how you like uh, so there's all this area and then you know just those two doors over here we just have some boxes which I was breaking before <laughs> or just knocking about and the boxes just have uh, mutagen canisters in them which is cool and you can just put those off to the side however you want there is a lot of space to like put things um, but that's I guess another small critique of the set is that there is a lot of unused space it would be nice to uh, to see just some more stuff here like you know some maybe cages for animals or whatever or you know a foot training area or something like that just just a little bit something extra to kind of um, add to the playability of the set I mean the displayability is really really good but the playability I feel could use a little bit more um, but we'll just you know that's not that's a nitpick for the most part so over here on this side we do have a, uh, a computer screen with a little readout of a dude and it looks like some DNA here I've got some um, mutagen it looks like maybe a filling station uh, and then this little chair where you can seat I don't know bebop or rocksteady to get transformed into their uh, mutant form and then on the other side <laughs> here we go uh, you've got basically the, a repeat of the same chair you've got some more stats over here uh, like I said same chair again you got some just uh, you know bottles and things like that and here is the other uh, Krang seat that I was talking about before uh, so you could switch those out if you'd prefer to have Krang in a uh, little clear purple seat uh, but I like the blue one because it you know more closely matches his like his toy version. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is for the inside. And like I said, there's a lot of room to kind of put your uh, put your dudes and like have them all displayed. But I, I would have liked to see maybe just some more stuff for them to do in here other than just kind of hang out. Uh, but it you know by no means is that like really. A, uh, a knock against the set as a whole uh, I really do think is a fantastic set and it was actually you know kind of an enjoyable build it did have a lot of parts that were uh, very repetitive but you're gonna get that I mean it's a giant sphere you know and, and it's for the most part pretty symmetrical uh, so you are gonna get that kind of you know repetitive sort of thing but I mean, just the, the sheer size of it alone is, is pretty much worth worth the cost of admission. Uh, if you're a Ninja Turtles fan, especially if you're a classic Turtles fan, uh, this is an absolutely fantastic display piece. Uh, really, really good kind of conversation starter. And uh, yeah, man, it's, it's just really, really cool. But like I said, a couple of nitpicks I would have liked to have seen. Um, definitely more... Uh, more micro figures uh, just just to kind of fill out the space some more uh, Just micro builds, you know, just little little things here and there you could that you could place even if it's, if it's more just like You know bottles or, or screens or whatever uh, Maybe a little area. Oh, you know what would have been cool? really really cool like a little area uh, Not like a trophy room, but like just a little spot where you could put all of Krang's stupid little uh, <laughs> stupid machines he needed every single week, like you know, his little Samo flange or you know, dimensional inverter or whatever, you know, all that kind of junk. Just you know, a room devoted to that would have been really cool. But for the most part, uh, it's a very very nicely done set. Uh, I'm I'm quite happy with it, and uh, you know, like I said. It is super impressive in person. Just the, the size is just crazy. It's it's enormous. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a really, really nice display piece. I just think it could have used a little more of those things just to kind of polish it and finish it off. But uh, 
overall, really, really nice set. Um, pick it up if you can. I know, especially now during the holidays, you're going to get a lot of really good uh, sales on this kind of stuff. So um, definitely pick it up if you uh, if you have the money and you're if you're a big fan of the classic turtles, you uh, you won't be disappointed. But uh, that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching, as always. Of course, if you enjoy the video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I will have more Mega Bloks coming real soon. Hopefully, there will be more Ninja Turtles to talk about soon. I haven't seen anything, but uh, I'll keep my eyes peeled. In the meantime, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.